everybody, welcome back to the Kirsty Weekend Show. I knew it was a bad idea to get uh, your chair that spun. No, I like the spinny chairs. So today we are going to do stained glass window nails because Easter's coming or maybe it's already been and gone by the time this video goes out. Definitely. Okay, because we want to get <laughs> holy. Easter at the weekend. Okay, we want to get, okay, we just want to get holy. <laughs> Holy moly! So we can never be enough. <laughs> yeah. That. yeah, always. <laughs> right then, stained glass windows it is. Right, so we've got Cheryl in. Now Cheryl's nails, I love Cheryl's nails. But they are, this one's a very strange shape. Because can you see how the cuticle? I wish the cuticle was just, just flatter. But look at that. Oh, will it stay? I doubt it. But we've already prepped, so we've we I say we've done removal. Um it was a co-effort, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. It was a co-effort because I'm sure I only saw Cheryl. Really. I know you, you were not in the building while I did the other oh, bit. Right, okay. It was definitely okay, so it was probably 80% Cheryl that did the removal and I just titivated. Um. <laughs> Cheryl got here, I said to her, what have you turned up on time for? <laughs> she was like, supposed to be here at 10, I was like, yeah, but you know. Yeah, but she it. put 10 a.m. sharp. Oh, really? I didn't know. <laughs> I put 10 a.m. extra nice. But at least you got some sort of nails out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, the removal's been done, prep's been done. So we're ready to use some products on these nails. So we're going to use Glitterama today. There's going to be a few different brands that we're going to use. We like to use a variety of brands so we can showcase and show you what's good and show you what's not so good. That's what we're doing on this channel. So we've got these tests here. So these are our COVID tests, just so you know we're all safe. Um, this one that looks gross. Guess who's that is? It's Adam's test, that one is. Then you've got mine and Cheryl's look like nice and beautiful. It's not nice having that stick shoved up your nose. But yeah. I might just shove too far. Yeah, I think you did. A bit of brain matter. You, you, you'd be lucky. Right, so we're gonna sanitize first. Sorry about that. So, and then we're going to use the nail prep spray. So this is a dehydrator and a cleanser. Now, obviously, I've already completed the other ones. Well, not quite. They, they're halfway. Um, but we're going to do this one from scratch and show you exactly how we create these beautiful nails. So a bit of a spray of that. You can spray it on a pad if you want to and wipe it over. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to use tips because I've got new tips. I like them so much. They are so nice. They're from um, Nail Gargar Pro Systems. So these are a, I think they call them a double XL um, coffee and nail. They're a ballerina nail, do you? I don't like the word coffee. It's, I don't like, the, you know, a coffee or even <coughs> coffee. Yeah, there's coffins in front of these. Not in these Three times, times, no. So I'm going to fit that. They have a very short well, which is nice, and you can fit that right to the end of that free edge. Make sure it's nice and straight. I'm going to use, ooh, where's my glue? I'm going to use the Wow Boa. Boa, Boa, Boa. Boa, 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 Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Well, we both got it wrong, so it wasn't that easy, clearly. So, little glues. I pierced the end with a sharp tool. And we're just going to fill that little well with glue. And you must wear gloves because you might just get it all over yourself. Not that I've ever done that. Honest. About five minutes ago. Pop that on, make sure it's nice and straight. And you're going straight with 
not the tip of the finger because, you know, little fingers are not so straight. And slightly angle that. Yes, we're straight. Always turn the hand round because sometimes you may think it's straight and then it's not so straight. Oh, should I just put a tiny bit more there? Just not glue. That's it's that this glue is really thin. So because it's really thin, it'll dry really quickly. So that's kind of a tip. So if I use the um Joy Meyer base, which is a resin, it's thicker. So it takes longer to set. So if you've got a really tricky client and you're putting a tip on and you just think, oh, they're not, you know, I don't know if that's straight, you can use a resin. And the resin will give you more, more playtime. So I'm going to set up a new file just for you. Just for you, Cheryl. So let's take that old one off. Put it in the bin or the trash. <laughs> Don't the trash sound better than the bin? Put it in the bin. Depends who you're talking about. Or put it in the trash. I think some of the American words are better than our English ones. I'm not going to lie. I think they are. I hope it depends how you're saying it. I like if you say, get in the bin, like to somebody, that's much better than saying, get in the trash. You know, if you're like, Take out the papers in the trash. <laughs> I don't know what that one. Don't. Talk back. I'm going to clean this metal center board with the two step system from Navy Tools. So you can clean with this one. It's really good for all metal tools. Give it a nice clean. It smells nice, huh? Mm. Nice, isn't it? Smells like clean, like a KFC wipe. <laughs> it doesn't smell like that. <laughs> and then we, then we're gonna disinfect with the disinfectant wipe. And if you, if you do this in front of your client, you know your client can see that you are like so COVID friendly. Right then. We're going to choose which grits we're going to put on. And I am a fan of a 180 grit and a 150 grit. Now, don't get me wrong, if you make nails as big as the Eiffel Tower, then you might need a different grit. <laughs> so if you... the thickness. What? The thickness. the thickness. If the thickness is really, really thick, and you have to do a lot of filing. Go with a hundred grit. You could have that on there. Um, you could have like hundred on one side. You could have a one fifty on the other side. I like a one fifty and a one eighty. This is how I like to set mine up. And don't get me wrong. When you when you're new to nails, you your nails your application may be a little bit thicker. So I'm, I I am having a laugh, but you know it's there. We've got lots of different grits. I'm just gonna line it up. And it's lovely when you've got really short nails on one hand and long on the other. That makes it even easier. And the gloves on. And gloves on. Look at that. Perfect. So the 180 grit is not as coarse as the 150. The lower the number, the coarser the file. Okay. You do still need to score these edges. And I've got a file here, what I use to score edges, as you can see. It's got like these marks down on them. So you want to keep just one file just to do that. A file that doesn't touch any person. So it's nice and clean. So you could use the 180 grit file to blend in your tip. Or you can use a sanding band. And that is what I would do. But before we do that, I just want to make sure these are nice and straight. I'm not going to blend the tip until I've done this, right? I've got a new e-file. It's amazing. Just saying. 
It's amazing. It's by Lorraco. Lorraco? Yeah. Hello, you looked at me for like spell Loraco. Well, I can see exactly what you or can see. Or Lurico. Or Lurico. Or Lurico. Or Lurico. Lurico. L Lurico. Yeah, well, let me tell you. I'm using this one because my other one has died and has gone to electric file heaven. Can we, can we have a minute, please? <laughs> please, just have a minute. Um, yeah, so that's why I'm using this. And there's another reason, it's because it's dead good. Proper smart. So we're going to use a mandrel bit. So the mandrel bit is like this. So it's got a safety lock system. So it's got tension here. And that's what holds it on. And we've got two sanding bands. We have two grits, fine and a medium. I'm going to be fine to use a fine. So this, this one is the Pro 40. It goes... 40 miles an hour, no, just... <laughs> 4, it goes 4,000 RPM. What does RPM stand for? Revs, revs per minute. Not revs per second, because that would be very fast. <laughs> um, so we're going to turn this up and I'm going to put it on. Now, if we've got some little notches here, it's on the third notch. And it's kind of looking like, if you're looking at a clock, it would be sort of 10 o'clock. Yeah, not, not very fast. And I'm literally just going to skip over and blend in that tip. Can we just talk about how quiet that is? Can we, Luke, like, listen. Put it next to your mic. Right. What? I forgot it was on earlier and like, you took a chunk out of the desk. Yeah. <laughs> so it's so quiet and the vibration is almost non existent. I think that's quite dangerous to be honest, but. What? Because you, you forget it's on? Well, you know, like electric cars have built in speakers. Do they? Yeah, they I think electric cars are really dangerous because you cannot hear them. That's probably. why they've got built in speakers so that they can. They let people know it sounds like a car. I've never heard of them. Yeah, yeah. Tesla definitely have them built in. Maybe so it it's just Tesla. Like so it sounds like a car, yeah. Does it go, vroom, Can you like well, it? Um, you could get it so it's gone, vroom, vroom, vroom. Could you Could you adjust it like so maybe. it sounded like a Ferrari or something? Or it could just be sounding like somebody with a lawnmower, maybe. <laughs> 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 oh, a bog of 90. <laughs> <laughs> so with this same bit, I'm just going to skip over that clear tip to abrase it. Because we're going to be using a little bit of gel and also acrylic and all that. And we want it to just stick really nicely. And that can go in the trash. <laughs> so we're going to create a beautiful smile line. Reverse application my favorite way to do it. We're going to be using Glitterama. I'm going to open that there because a lot, there is a lot of spillage, not going to lie. Look, we have a lot of spillage. Okay. Maybe because it's not got a rubber seal there, but you know. So we've got that. And that color is Dainty Doll. And then we have Clear as well. Crystal clear. Ah. ah. It's missing the seal that here. Seal and that one hasn't. That's so what why. Does, what does the seal do? It's like a so, cushion. Um. Yeah, creates pressure, doesn't it? And just so it doesn't like all escape. And more products. We've got an acid primer, so power bond. There we go. Then monomer. I've already decanted this into here. Premium adhesion bond. bond, 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 bond Premium adhesion monomer. 
Right, reverse application. Love it, love it. Do you like reverse application? Because Cheryl is a nail do. tech. Yeah, you prefer it in the old fashioned. Yes. The old fashioned matter was the French part first, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I know. I did do it the other day. And I was like, this has been a long time since mm -hmm. I've done this. Well, since I've done this. And it was. Not great. It was alright, but it was just, you know. I do want to do more though. I want to um, kind of stretch my skills and have a go at creating a smile line, the traditional way. What, so what's the, what's the, why, why would you want to try that? If you can do it well this way, why try it the other way? Because it's about perfecting skills. So and it's a skill that I've not done for a long time, so I kind of lost it. You know, if you don't use it, you lose it. So Cheryl, when you go back to work after doing all, no nails for months on end because of lockdown, you, you're going to be crap. <laughs> I'm only really joking. What an advertisement. <laughs> I'm only really joking. I'm joking. Cheryl Nail Designs. But oh, it's, it's like, lovely. it's... Um, Muscle memory. It's like riding a bike. It'll come back. Definitely. You'll be absolutely fine. She has been doing nails for, you know, a long first time. Day, it'll be... So don't book in for the first day. <laughs> but I think all nail techs will be a little bit nervous about going back to work and stuff. And by the time this video goes out, everybody will be back to work anyway. Um, so I've just popped up one bead and I've perfected the smile line, doing it the reverse application. So if you're new to nails and you probably may have not seen this done before, then this is called the reverse method. So we call it reverses because we're doing the nail bed first and the free edge after. So second bead went on just to streamline everything and make sure we get a nice, neat cuticle area. So, but the first bead was to concentrate on this shape. And I like to pull down straight, straight, and then we have a nice curve. And we do that and we start it where the natural nail finishes on both sides. We should end up with a uniform smile line. So I'm going to check the side. So I need a little bit of product here and I need a better apex than that. If you look at the side view, that's, that apex is way too flat. It's, it's all right, but it's just a little smidgen more. So I'm going to put that on and then we'll pinch a little bit of that product. And pop it there. Literally just tickle that onto my brush and put it where I want it. Instead of me going drag, 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 drag. And I actually really like this colour. I think it's really nice. It's very pink. So it's not like a peachy tone cover pink. If you want like a peach tone, then uh, I think they do do one, but I'm, I haven't used it yet. But this is quite a pink tone, but I do love that colour. I think it's gorgeous. God, my stomach. I just want the tiniest bead. Just here. So I'm going into the liquid, into the powder, picking up the tiniest bead just to make sure that's nice and flush there. And notice when I pick up a tiny bead, my brush is upright. What I want to do now, while that starts to polymerize and it starts to set, I'm just going to put the very thinnest clear onto this tip and that's only because I'm going to use the gel polish as the colour. So I'm just going to, and this is very thin, super thin and all it's going to do is help with the adhesion. So when the gel polish goes on it'll really help it adhere to the tip rather than going straight onto the tip with gel polish you could run the risk of it separating and then Cheryl would not be very happy. I've got a new pinching tool I'm going to test pinch with my fingers and my gloves so I'm not touching the product. And I feel that's fine. I'm going to pop that on. This is from Nail Gargar as well. Right. So once this is set enough, we're going to take your file. So this is a metal board file, so it's really stiff. So you can use this file to just perfect that smile line. So go in. Get it nice and perfect. So when you're creating it, don't get too hung up if you think it's not quite perfect. 
you're better off, relax your hand, we are better off, <laughs> you're better off giving it a bit of a file after. So you can use the metal file as well. So this is very thin and very stiff, very long. And you can go around with that as well. So it's, it's, it's up to you which one you like, which one you prefer. This one is a little bit thinner, obviously, because if you compare this and this, and then if you compare it to a normal file, this is your thickest file. So this is your thickest, then you've got this one, then you've got your tiny thin one with the metal one. So I've just got some gel polish, black gel polish. It needs to be super pigmented. And I'm going to use a flat slanted brush, quite wide. It's quite a big one, this one. Um, it's a Lucente one. And we're going to go in. And what you're going to do is, see all these edges here? And just tap it in till we get right up to that point. So you can go right up on that brick wall. And this is going to make everything look super sharp. Then we're going to use the Brendec brush. So I've got Brendec gel brush. You got one, Ethan. Good job, one. And we're going to soften that line. So you're literally just going to tap. Make sure you don't build up too much product on there. Just one a tiny bit more there. So we're literally just softening the edge. It does not need to be absolutely perfect, but it make it soft so it's not a hard line. That'll do, pop that in. Right, right, so why are all my colours are they here yet? There? We're going to use the Poseidon Glass range from Nailchemy. That is a transparent jelly collection. I said that right, didn't I? Poseidon. Mm. So, I'm literally going to do a little blob of each colour onto a little palette. So we've got a purple, we've got like a tealy blue, and a pink, but when the pink is on the palette, it actually looks orange, but it's not. Isn't it? It looks orange, and mm. it's not. Right, magic. Just gonna get a tiny bit more. Of that. So we're gonna take the colours, and you'll notice that when you see the finish result, I've actually put these on in any old kind of direction, apart from the middle one is sort of more lines and diagonal shapes but I'm going to sort of swoosh this this way now so I'm going to do that one first I'm going to clean my brush and then I'm going to do the purple I'm going to fill the purple here so it has to be done on a transparent nail whether that's a sculpted out transparent clear base or a transparent tip And I'm using the Miko brush, named after my diva of a sister. <laughs> I'm going to pop that in the lamp and then I'll do the pink. Now, when you're putting gel polish onto a palette, always make sure you keep that well clear of your LED light or your UV light, whichever one you're using. We're using the Nailchemy lamp because we're using Nailchemy gel polishes.
and pop me that in the lab. I'm just going to go with another layer but very thin. Make sure it's nice and thin. I just want the tiniest bit more pigment. But make sure you keep it thin. If you build it up too much then you're going to cause separation between the gel polish and the other products that we're going to put on. So we're going to use, this is called Rainbow Delight, it's from Glitter Armor again, so it's a tiny bit of glitter that I literally just want to feed into this here. So the next product we're going to use to encapsulate is the Nail Perfect Fibre Gel. And look at the pot, isn't it beautiful? Will we store your pots? Okay. Yeah, look, I've got... It was one, was it quite... I don't know. It clearly it wasn't, look at that. Oh, it's on its side. <gasps> Naughty girl. Right. I'm just going to feed some of that through my brush first so it's prepared and then Cheryl says this is the best way to do it because she's a gel tech she says you take a bead and you do a what, what do you call it slick layer a slick layer So, slick layer on, big dollop, bang, bang, bang. So, roll it off your brush, then I'm going to work it up the sides. Remain, remain contact. That didn't, that doesn't, that's not English, Kirsty. Keep it in contact with the gel, with your brush. And you're best sweeping side to side and start to pull it down and disperse the product down the length of the nail. It's actually more satisfying to watch it use gel mm. than acrylic. You think, yeah. Yeah, it's got sort of like a bit of a ASMR kind of vibe to it because of the movement and sort of the, the, the clarity and oh. it's just interesting to, to watch. I suppose we don't really do a lot so it's nice to use this for a change. The reason I'm using it is because it's clearer. So we've got that clarity of the gel with this effect. So I'm turning the finger upside down just so I can start to sculpt a little bit more shape and use the gravity to my advantage. Pop that in please. Then we'll do one more bead. We'll go straight over the top of that and we hopefully should have completely encapsulated. So again, nice big bead. Spin, spin, spin. Do you know what it reminds me of? When I used to use wax, when I used to do waxing treatments. Mm. on clients and you know you have to spin it and keep it in one place mm. it reminds me of that somehow so off we go Where it stops, nobody knows. Let's spin it upside down. 
And then when I'm spinning it upside down, I'm just checking the thickness at the sides as well. In. So it, you've got to use gravity. Gravity is your friend. Yeah. Now if you're doing like shorter nails, you don't need half as much product. Cheryl, I'll tell you that, won't you, Duck? You don't need that much. No. But because we're encapsulating, we want the light to penetrate through the clear nail. We need to get it all nice and encapsulated, kind of thing. These are lint-free pads that I got off Amazon. They are really crap. <laughs> they really rubbish, don't buy them. We won't be buying them again. Are they lint-free? Says they're lint-free. Mmm, my ass. So I'm just going to use IPA to remove the sticky layer and then we have no sticky layer now and it's rock hard isn't it, mm -hmm. rock hard. So now we need to file, uh, da, 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 da. so we've got our file but as I come up here I want to look and make sure it's nice and straight so I might actually come in with the metal file. to make that nice and straight. Support the nail. And then we're going to use the electric file again and we're going to use the purple bit. So this is a ceramic bit and it also has a gorgeous Swarovski crystal on the end. And I've gone to about one o'clock on my e file now. And we're going to remove any bulk. And you can see that it files a little bit differently than acrylic. I feel like the dust settles a little bit quicker somehow. I don't know how, so if you think it would be more fly away. And using acrylic and gel together won't compromise the integrity of the structure of the nail. Because they're all the same family. And as we file through that smile line, it's going to make everything nice and sure. I'm just going to clean underneath as well with the IPA, just to make it nice and clean so there's no dust, because obviously these are like a transparent design. We want everything to look as transparent as possible. For my next trick, dear, I'm gonna pull out the magic bag. What do I have in the magic bag? I have this black paint is the blackest black, black paint I've ever used in my life. Like black. Put your teeth in. I know, it's the blackest black paint I've ever used and it's very liquidy and it's really pigmented 
oh my god it's right the fine line oh it's insane it's really liquidy it's um nail perfect but it's the black concentrate so they do a black and they do a black concentrate so this is your normal black can you see there so you've got this is the normal black and then this is the black concentrate and this is it's thinner it's a thinner viscosity so it's easier to get fine lines with yeah and it's super pigmented so that's the one we're going to use like danger in a bottle it's thinner and more pigmented which means <laughs> everywhere and can't get it off mm, hopefully not hopefully not dear hopefully not we want a striking brush we want the nice striking brush it's dear lovely look at this so we're going to use the lacente s1 striping brush that's the brush we're going to use and watch What we're going to do is, so you see all these little shapes. You're going to pull the black around these shapes. Don't worry about it being all the same thickness. We want, oh, we want it to be slightly different thicknesses as we go around and. This brush is really stiff. It's super stiff. It needs not to be so stiff. Why is it so stiff? So, I think that brush is a little bit too long, so I'm going to use the Cassidy brush. Mm, that's so much better, I can control it so much better. So the other one was a little bit too long. So you're going to chase around these little kind of openings around the colour. I don't want any paint on the nail bed colour so I'm just going to get that off with your acrylic brush with a little bit of monomer on that I'll just get that off. I'm going to use the Nail Camino wipe top coat so it's going to have no sticky layer because these nails are absolutely ginormous. I am going to start with the length first and then I'm going to do the cuticle area that means I can drag through down into wet top coat and pop that in. So I'm going to top coat them all. I mean, as soon as you top coat them, it's like, oh, you can see how transparent they are. We just need the sun. The sun needs to like go, oh, through them like that, like, you know, like in a church. Ray of light. Yeah. Right, so we're going to put some gems on and I'm going to try out this Wo Wobo. Did you say it was Wobo? Wow, wow. What? Wow, bow. Wow, bow. I'm not sure wow, about this. Wow, wow. I think I need I need to be told how to say it properly. Okay. Well, I'm going to say it's wow, bow. Wow, bow. Right. Is it B-O-I? B-A-O. That's bow. Wow, wow, bow. Bow, as in... Like me boo, me bow, me me. No, it's no. Like B A A U. Bow. Bow. Right. So definitely gonna pop some on here. So just scoop it up with my pammy picker upper, and I'm gonna put some around the cuticle here.
So this is the crystals box and it's from the nail boxes and it's got 7,000, well it did have 7,000 crystals in it but it hasn't anymore because I've been using them. <laughs> but it's got loads of different shapes and sizes, all different gorgeousness. So we're going to place them around. Bling on, bling bling, ching ching. Cuticle oil, we've not had this on a bit. This is Indigo's She Alexa. It's called Queen. I it's called Drama Queen. And the smell, yeah. oh my God. Wait till you have this on your nails. You'll need about a bottle, a gallon. Yeah, because you'll love it. You'll, oh, you'll like it. Not yeah. that you're a drama queen. I'm trying to say that you'll just. I thought this is a dry queen then. No, a drama queen. <laughs> <laughs> dry queen. All the dry queens need this. Honest, you'll absolutely, absolutely love it. I am quite impressed with that gem jar because it's like tap free and mm -hmm. first time I've used that one. I like it. I kind of want to shine a light through them. Mm, I was just about to do that with my fan. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I love that. Oh, it's the iPhone today. I love it. I love them. I especially like the shape as well, but I like the transparency. And um, summer's coming, so you're getting bladder. <laughs> Just look at my nails. So there we are, guys. Everything I've used today will be listed below. If you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for putting up with me. It takes a lot. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not thanking you, though. You get paid for it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram and all that shebang. And if there's any discount codes or links and all that, it's down there. See you later. Ciao. Oh god, what's happening? Did you put in that <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Oh, let's get it on. Right.
then and then it's for day next trick for my next trick oh, just nice. you've got a very novel way of uh Knowing where you have to be And the back door, okay. And the back door. <laughs> Front door, back door. <laughs> Never gonna lose them, are you? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>